Hello guys, we're gonna do a video on the Dell Optiplex 990 and today we'll be applying some thermal paste and we're gonna give it a new graphics card, the GeForce GT710 from ASUS. So now we will begin on removing these cables. There. You, to remove the optical drive, you pull this up, then you slide it out, then you take it out. Now for this, not sure if you can see, you take the cables out. There will be a lock here. You just slide it across, then you pull it out easy. Now this gets a bit harder. There's a lock here, safety lock, you have to pinch it then you can pull it out. Ah. Now you can hook this there. Now you're going to need your screwdriver. Now you will remove the screws in a diagonal pattern, so if you begin here then you will go to the opposite screw. This helps to release the pressure evenly. You can take it out. As you can see here, I've already wiped the old thermal paste off as much as I can. It's a bit hard, as you can see there. And here we go, we have the CPU. Let me take it out to show you. Please don't do this at home. You can damage your CPU. This is a Intel iCore 7 2600. Yep. We're going to put that back that bad boy back in there. Now we're gonna thermal paste. Oh yes, we need to lock this first. Bring the bring the tab down, pull this, switch it to the side, then you put it in. Okay. Now we're gonna put our thermal compound in. For me I'm gonna choose the X, the X layout. Not sure if you understand, but you probably know what I mean. So I'm going to in an X. So it will go absolutely everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. This is a bit too much thermal paste, but who cares, you know. We're here for fun. We do it for fun. We just bring that through a bit. There we go. And there we go. Now we're going to remove the SATA cables. We're not going to put the heatsink back on yet. It's um, We'll put the graphics card in first. So please don't put as this much in. Oh, today we're also going to remove the RAM. But um, you'll see that later. Now we got our GeForce GT710. We take it out of the box it's like this. Take it out. This is all we care about. And now we can remove the tape right here. We can remove it. Now we can pull it out. Please be careful with your graphics card. It it is very fragile. As you can see here, shift this over for you to see a bit. We pull this tab out, then you can put it in. You can be sure to remove these things first. But this is not in low profile mode yet. 
you see it fits but then here it doesn't so the Asus I'm have very sorry bracket. but I have lost like right the here. clip of me installing the SSD so, so I'll give you a basic summary of them out. I got the SATA cable and the SATA power Take extender did some cable management then I tape now I got here, some double sided disconnect. tape then tape the SSD and onto the power supply so it sticks tight and as I was saying we need to switch this, this out will be to a low profile video, so brackets please like so and we will subscribe start by and comment down below if you have any recommendations or do you in want the meantime, to do don't forget to remove please this comment down below well. it's Thank the you. only thing holding us back now Once we have taken it out, this will go a bit dongly, but it don't don't worry, it's not a big deal. Now you can start putting one of your brackets in, like this one for this side. Now you take that screw that you removed. to begin with the screw because it's the easiest. Um, you get these end of things again. Now you just screw them back in. Make sure they're tight if you have these at home. Use them to make sure. By the way, Dell Optiflex is a very good deal. You can find them on eBay, Amazon, Facebook Marketplace. Because they're these like old office PCs where like people want to just get rid of you know? But then it's perfectly fine for gaming, you can get a lot of FPS with this. Um, if you don't put a graphics card in, you average around 70 FPS at 720p, but you know it's always better to put a graphics card. At the end of the video, I'll list the, all the components I used in this video in the description below and it will come up on the screen. I don't know when, but the editors will, will do it. Yeah, the editors will do it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they will. But it's here. You can pull this out. Remove the brackets. Here we go. Now you can start installing these. It might be a, diff a bit difficult, but don't worry, you'll get through it. And there'll be a lock at the end here. You want to make it go out of the way for you. Now you just push it in. Simple. There we go. We pushed it in. So my head's in the way, it's fine. Now we just put this in. There we go. Now cover that out. Then, okay, now that we've installed the graphics card, now we're gonna install the RAM. So now I've got, this is already two, four gigabytes of RAM. This is an additional four. So four two gigabyte sticks, please don't copy me just get two four gigabytes for eight gigs of RAM or two eight gigs for 16 gigs of RAM. In total, I'm gonna have eight gigs of RAM. And please note that for Dell Optiplexes, there is DDR3 RAM. Do not get DDR4, it will not work. Now we unclip these, get one of your RAMs. You're probably not gonna have the same RAM as me, but you know who cares I'll just still do the video you press down until you hear the click then the other side until you hear the click okay that didn't click but it, it would have yeah it clicked let me just do that again to check click, click and Click. 
when you push it down your ram, you want to push it down hard, but not too hard. You don't want to damage it. And boom, we're done with RAM. Now we're going to install our SSD. I've gone with a 128 gig SSD from Patriot. So this has a... Uh, I'll put the parts that I use in this video in down in the description and it will come up on the video. Yeah, I said that, but you know, who cares? Now we're going to cut it open, because, you know, who cares? Okay, now we take it out. There we go. Now there's our SSD, boys. Now, all girls. Now, you might notice it's quite light. But don't worry, it's an SSD. This is only 128 gig, so it should be light. Now, we're going to get our power extension cable. These you can find pretty cheap on Amazon. 